Welcome back to today's Bible study. I am your speaker, JT O'Malley 9681. Yeah, I'm a little late with this one. I should have had it at least by yesterday. I've been busy working on a project for my stepmother for her birthday. And I've also uh, using it to do the same thing for a few other people as well. And it took a while to do it. But I'm back now. And this is going to be a short, pretty short Bible study. But you can also find that other video on my YouTube channel that tells you about my Bible scraps. Could I post a Bible scrap in my community uh, page on my main YouTube channel and post those also on Facebook and Instagram, LinkedIn, you know, other social media sites. So I've been posting something. So go ahead and pause this video at your leisure and give yourselves a word of prayer before we get started. Okay. The title is you must stand before you walk. There is one passage. Now, this is the letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Galatia, Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. This I say then, walk in the spirit, the Ruach. And this is talking about the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Ruach, and the Ruach against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led by the Ruach, you are not under the law. Or you are not under the Torah. Now, where it says for the flesh lust against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh, they're not lusting like, like a man lusting to a woman or a woman lusting to a man. No. What it's saying here is that the flesh does everything against the spirit and the spirit is everything does everything against the flesh. That's what it's saying. They're opposite of each other. And so in order to walk in the Ruach, the Spirit, which is Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, you must learn how to stand in grace. Freedom in Mashiach, Christ, is given, not earned. You cannot earn your way into heaven. You cannot work to keep yourself into heaven. That will not work. That will never work. That has never existed. You cannot earn salvation, nor can you work to keep it. If you stand in grace, you will walk in the Ruach, the spirit of truth. If you stand in works, you will walk in worldly expectations which are contrary to Yahuwah's word, the Father's word. Elohim, God, because that's a title, not a name, loves us so much to freely give us blessings. So we should take the same stance and give to others freely. See, God freely gives us gifts, offerings, so we should do the same for others. Instead of like, I'm going to help you out with this, but you do always want to expect something back. We shouldn't be doing that. We should just give it freely. That doesn't mean we need to let people take advantage of us either. All that is being carried in the flesh will become a conflict. Elohim, God, leads in a blessed way, while the world leads in a conflicting way. There is absolutely nothing in this world that could give you anything that would be a blessing more than what God can give you. And God has proven that to me time and time again ever since I became born again. God has proven to me before then, but I was still still so young in my mind and everything that and in my heart that I didn't understand how things worked and that's why I was living a life of sin of willing full sin back then and that is why God can actually use things of this world to to give us blessings and teach us good things but if we only want to go by the world itself then it's going to be nothing but conflicting the whole way through Now,
that's going to be it for this one, folks. Like I said, it's going to be a, sh a pretty short Bible study. Times are very, very short. If you, if you don't think that we could be any closer to the time of the rapture of the church and for the seven-year tribulation to begin, because we are not in the seven-year tribulation yet. It hasn't happened yet. And that's because the beast, the Antichrist, has not appeared. Just look at what the World Economic Forum is trying to do right now. It's a very, very big foreshadowing. So anybody has any questions or prayer requests, just leave them in the comments section on YouTube or anywhere where I shared this post from YouTube on to other social media websites. Follow me on social media. Links will be in the video description. Abba willing, there will be another Bible study. I don't know when. I don't know what it's going to be. God hasn't given me anything yet. But there will be still be Bible scraps every day at least once a day. There may be a day where there isn't any Bible scrap, like today, because I have a Bible study for one thing. So until then, stay safe. Shalom, my friends. And the bear this Bible study in the name of thy son, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen.